Welcome to the Colorado National Monument. So the best way to explore Colorado National Monument is to take the 23 mile scenic Rim Rock Drive. And there's all sorts of hiking trails that are less than a mile off of the main road. So my goal today is to see how many I can do in one day. Let's go. The first hike that we're gonna be doing today is the Window Rock Nature Trail. Now this is right next to the visitor center. It's only a quarter mile loop and it's gorgeous. Check out these epic views. Holy cow. So I just gotta say, based off of trail number one, the trails are kind of difficult to find because it's very wide open. So you can't really, I mean, you probably can, but on a small one like this, I couldn't really get lost. I obviously got back to the road, but uh, just be really, really careful to make sure that you are on the trail and you're nowhere near the edge when you come visit. Okay, this explains it. Cause I was like, that trail was longer than I thought. Uh, so as you can see on the map, I actually ended up connecting with the Canyon Rim Trail, which is sort of a rim that just goes along the outside overlooking uh, Wedding Canyons. So that's part of the reason it kind of kept going right along that canyon line there. Uh, so I definitely connected the two and uh, onto the third. This is so weird to be walking on this little piece of land and it drops off on this side and it drops off over there. So you know we're just on like one of those spires that <laughs> goes right in the middle. Ooh. Wow, this is crazy. Look how far it drops down. That's so wild. Thank goodness there is a fence here because this would make me very nervous. Hike number four I'm really excited about. It's only a half a mile, but it's the Coke Ovens Trail and it looks super awesome online. So let's check it out in person. Definitely one of my favorite parts of this trail is the fact that it reminds me so much of the Grand Canyon, but no crabs. I wanted to address something because I just heard a drone and I brought mine with me, I was ready to go, and then when I pulled in, I realized that the Colorado National Monument is actually a part of the National Park Service, meaning it's extremely illegal, there can be some steep fines, even jail time, so there won't be any drone footage in this episode. But the good news is, the Rim Drive, the Rim Rock Drive, and all of the trails run through the top of the monument, so you still get that gorgeous aerial view looking into the valley. advice if you're trying to figure out if you should come from the Fruta entrance or the Grand Junction one. So if you're coming from Grand Junction, all of the viewpoints are going to be on the right hand side. So super easy to pull off and check everything out. But if you are afraid of heights or have vertigo like me, you might want to come from the Fruta side because I think I would have struggled with some of those drop offs right on the side of the road. <laughs> Thank you. 
check out the Serpents Trail or one of these canyon trails at the bottom. But since I'm running out of time, hike number five is going to be the Devil's Kitchen Trail. And this is a one and a half mile trail and we're on kind of the lower slope now. So I'm excited to check it out. Whole lot of a trail so I can hear people ahead of me trying to figure out which way to go so it's good to bring a map and take your time bring lots of water and uh, just go up Like I said, this trail is super, super easy to get lost on. I was with a group of people. We all kind of lost the trail, but uh, I feel like being at this thing is pretty much the end. And I'm not too worried. I can see the road and the beginning trail. So I'm not worried about getting lost, but uh, yeah, super confusing. Not really sure where the end is supposed to be. This is definitely not the trail, but how epic is this? Two reasons this trail is super confusing. One, people keep building cairns, which are these little rock piles that are meant to be trail markers, but I think people just like to build them because they were everywhere. And then two, I want to show you this. This is basically the river wash, which looks like a trail, but actually is not a trail. Don't worry, I can hear people, I can see people, I can see the road, we're good. Trail, not trail, trail, not trail. And there we go, I found it. Okay, I don't know if I found the devil's kitchen, the devil's living room, the devil's bathroom, I don't know, but I found some really cool rock structures. And uh, this is a good note that you should always have a map on you no matter how many people are around. But uh, yeah, epic day here at the Colorado National Monument. Great way to end five amazing hikes I got in today. So uh, yeah, if you enjoy this episode, be sure to hit subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. That's how you do it. That's how you do it when you're solo traveling. <laughs>